This is a fairly straightforward problem about working with normal models. Uh, it's from Bach, Feldman, and DeVoe, as usual. Problem 43 from Chapter 6, uh, about kindergarten, heights of kindergarten children. Oh, and let's see, let's make that go uh, a little smaller. Heights of kindergarten children are assumed to be normally distributed with a mean of 38.2 and a standard deviation of 1.8, and that's, of course, what this shorthand means. Um, so, one question is, what fraction do we expect to be less than three feet tall? We might be worried that uh, our furniture isn't going to work for people, kids who are less than three feet tall. Okay, so as usual, there's two ways to do that. Let me show you the slightly more by hand way first, although you, the calculator is still essential, and then the one where it's just, a, just pushing buttons. So, we want to find the z-score, oops, for three feet, or 36 inches, so that's 36 minus 38.2, over 1.8 because it's always going to be whatever our uh, variable is minus the mean over the standard deviation of the model and that's the, the Greek letters are the parameters of the model and uh, they're not things that are observed from data okay there's gonna be a big distinction with that as we go and so that's going to be uh, let's just have it evaluate this numerically and so that's minus 1.222, minus uh, probably 11 ninths, I guess. Okay, so we can then put that in. We can do a normal CDF of, that's we want the range between a z-score of basically minus infinity to minus 1.222, and as the book suggests, minus 99 is gonna work. Now you wanna be, sure, be careful, minus 99 won't work if we actually don't use the standard normal, and I'll, well, I'll do the one where you don't use the standard normal in a minute, but if you're using the standard normal, minus 99 will always work as a, a substitute for minus infinity. And then minus 1.2222, um, and then enter. Okay, so 11.08%, okay. So the fraction is, um, the fraction, or the percentage is 11 point, let's say 11.1%. Okay, or let's let's do let's point oh eight percent is almost certainly not relevant to be that accurate. But we've got three, two or three significant figures. Let's go one more, just to make sure uh, we're not rounding too much. Okay, so how would we do that even uh, easier? We could go ahead and do the version of normal CDF where we actually include. So we're going to do now minus ninety nine is going to work. Well, let me let me put it in and then discuss it and then 38.2 and we're going to put in the raw data oh no not 38.2 36 without translating to z-scores but we're going to tell it what the mean and standard deviation are so when you put in four arguments here the last two are the mean and standard deviation to give the modified normal model, the one that's actually appropriate. And then the first two are actually in honest to God inches, not z score. So now we're looking for the proportion that's going to be between a, minus 99 inches and 36 inches. Well, it seems like with a standard deviation of 1.8, uh, we're not going to have much probability of being less than minus 99. So the minus 99 still works. In fact, like a 0 or even a 10 probably work, would have worked fine, as long as it's a good number of standard deviations away from the mean. Okay, so you can see down to like to about uh, five, six digits, it's about the same, okay? So that's the other way to do it. Now, I don't wanna say that this, the z-score method is worse. There's definitely problems, like some of them in the book, and I'll hopefully do a video about it, where you really do need to do, do the z-score version. So like a problem, for example, where sigma or mu becomes the variable. You can't really do that in a good way on the calculator, as far as I know. Um, so you, we are gonna have to be able to do this. But if it's just getting this number, you can definitely do the the fancier version of normal CDF, and it gets you out of a tiny bit of arithmetic. Okay, so in what height, height interval do we expect to find the middle 80%? Okay, well, let's see, the middle 80%, let me just um, sketch that out. I haven't really been drawing a picture. Okay, so for the first question, we had our normal distribution, and we looked for everything on this side, the percentage over here. And that's for the, the standard normal, where the mean was zero. The second version, where we used the fancier version of the calculator command, was we actually looked at our actual normal distribution, 
centered around 38.2 with a standard deviation of 1.8. There's a lot of glare on that, isn't there? I'm not sure why. Okay, uh, I think you can see it though. And we were looking for the tail here that went up to 36. Okay. Um, now, what we're looking for, same distribution, mean of 38.2, and we're looking for the middle 80%. So, for two things that are different here, we're going from a percentile or some sort of proportion information, and we want to get the actual number, the height number. That's backwards from this. We're going to need to use an inverse CDF. The other thing is that it's, a, it's everything between, as opposed to just a tail, everything from minus infinity up to a certain amount, everything less than 36 inches. So we have to be a little clever about that, because the inverse CDF function always is designed to give this. It would input 11%, um, for example, and give you that that was 36 inches. OK, so we just need to get the percentile for this. If this is supposed to be the middle 80%, then there's supposed to be 10% over here and 10% over here. And so that's the 90th percentile. And this, symmetrically, is the 10th percentile. OK, so that's a, cru a crucial thing we're going to have to do. We really want to calculate the 10th percentile and the 90th percentile. It's everything between those is the middle 80%. So we do inverse CDF, or inverse norm, of 0.1. OK, now that would give us the standard normal result. And the thing is, we want the shifted one. And again, we could go ahead and do it by hand. Let's, let me show you that one. So here, the z-score that corresponds to 10%, the 10th percentile, is minus 1.28. OK, uh, let's say 1.6. OK, now that's supposed to be x minus the mu over 1.8. Then we just have to solve for x for the height. OK. So that's going to be 38.2 plus, well, minus 1.8 times 1.2816. And we'll just evaluate that. 35.89. It's about 35.9 inches. OK. So we could um, do the, I'll show you how to do the other one with a little fancier version of the calculator command. You go ahead and do inverse norm. Of now we're going to look at the 90th percentile, but we're going to put in the data. This actually says on this normal distribution with this mean and this standard deviation, where's that going to show up? And it doesn't give me some small number in terms of a z score, it gives me the actual thing in inches. So it's going to be 40.5. Okay, so it looks like uh, the answer for this one is going to be between about 35.9 and 40.5 inches. That's going to give us the middle 80%. So if we don't care about the small, t the shortest 10% and the tallest 10%, we could make our furniture to fit these kinds of sizes. Seems like a, that's a little bit uh, unpleasant. OK, how tall are the, at least how tall are the biggest 10%? You know, we've already answered that question. The middle 80% was everything between the 10th percentile and the 90th percentile. The biggest 10%. That's just everybody above 40.5 inches. So that's kind of nice that they actually chose this number. And we can see that that's actually something we actually had to do to answer part B.